On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them, and in their fright, the woman bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember? Remember how he told you while he was with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners and be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words, and then they remembered his ministry, and what he was able to do for people, how many people he healed, and how many people he raised to life, and what Jesus Christ became. He became the man, the son of man, the son of God. He came down to die for us and resurrect on the third day. He became the beloved son of God, the bread of life, the authority, the peacemaker, the faithful and truthful one, the good shepherd, the good high priest, the head of the church, the holy servant. He became our hope, our peace, our prophet, our redeemer, our risen Lord, our rock, sacrifice for our sins. He saved us. He became the son of the most high, the supreme creator over all, the resurrection and the life, the door, the way, the word, the true vine, the truth, the victorious one, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, and the prince of peace. And his ministry is still alive. Jesus continues to heal people. Jesus continues to save people. Jesus continues to bring the dead to life. Jesus' ministry is alive and well. The tomb is empty. Run out. Live his purpose. Live your purpose. Run out. Because the tomb is empty, we can run on empty.